Oh, hey, Brett. We are getting closer and closer to the All-Star Game uh, second half of the season for our Twins. And right now, things are okay. We're in first place, but it's very tenuous right now. We're lucky we're in the American League Central, Jason, because it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's a down year for the AL Central. And the Twins, while they're hanging around that 500 mark, they're not really running away with anything. We're waiting for them to put together a long winning streak. Hasn't happened yet, but... That being said, they are atop the division, so you can't complain too much, right? Right, but you got to worry a little bit. I, uh, for me, it's not the pitching so much or the defense. That's pretty, pretty solid. It's our offense. The lack of offensive production is uh, it's concerning, to say the least, and you can hear the frustration in manager Rocco Baldelli's voice after each game. Uh, I think we're getting tired of losing three to nothing or four to two, and we're waiting for a, an explosion here. It's just not happening, and we don't even need a potent offense. We just want some sort of production. But when that happens, and you're hoping it does, this team should take off. And uh, hopefully in the second half, because right now we are approaching that midway point in the season. It's the All Star Game. Everyone gets to send a guy to the All Star Game. So. Who do you got for the Twins going to the All-Star game? It's kind of tough. We haven't had anybody this year who has really run away with it. We've had a lot of solid players, a lot of decent, uh, good players, but nobody who has just been dominant and a clear-cut favorite to go to the All-Star game. For pitching, I would pick either Sonny Gray or Joe Ryan. Uh, for offense, uh, Joey Gallo he currently leads the team in home runs. And, um, well, um, also... Surprise offensive player this year, uh, Michael A. Taylor. I like the Michael A. Taylor one. Joey Gallo, a lot of pop, but he's hitting under 200. But that's kind of the Twins lineup right now, right? right? You get good in one area and not so much production in another. My guy I would pick for the lineup, and this is a stretch, but Donovan Solano. He's hitting about 275, oh, yeah. and he's knocked in about 20 runs this year. He won't make it, but if we had to send a hitter, that might be the guy. Pitching side of things... Sonny Gray, not a bad choice. Joe Ryan, not a bad choice. I'm looking in the bullpen. I'm thinking Joanne Duran or perhaps even Brock Stewart. He's been good, although he is on the IL right now. Right. Joanne Duran, I totally forgot about him. He's having a heck of a season. He's got 11 saves this year. Could be a bullpen guy for the Twins this year, but um, right now we're not running away with anything. We've got no dominant players who are going to be a starter at the All-Star game. We will get someone there. If the pitching can continue to hold things down, the hope is that lineup's going to come around and the Twins are going to run away with the Central. Right. Before the uh, All-Star game, we got the series in Baltimore. That's going to be tough. The Orioles are a very big surprise this year. And then we can head home for 4th of July to Kansas City and one more series at home against Baltimore. But then we come out of the All-Star break facing off against Oakland. Who just got uh, no hit, a perfect game by Yankees pitcher Domingo Herman. So maybe... That's what the Twins need to kind of get the bats going, is just seeing a team that's down like the A's that yep. can get us rolling. Well, let's see if another Minnesota team can also get going against a team that also wears green and gold. There you go, yeah. <laughs> that's a little too far off, but yeah, people get what I'm saying. Anyway, you're home for Twins Baseball. It's 1230 AM, 1077 FM. Let's go Twins. Let's keep on holding it down the Central.